Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Smart Art Tutorial Series, you will learn how to create <coughs> balanced scorecard in PowerPoint. The balanced scorecard you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? And this is created entirely from a smart art graphic. Let us see how to create this diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. The first step, as always, whenever we create a smart art diagram, is to go to Insert, Smart Art, and the diagram we want to manipulate is under Cycle tab. And the diagram we would like to take is this one called as radial cycle. You select the diagram and click OK. Now this diagram has no relation to the diagram that we see here. However, we are going to make the changes using a very powerful option called as change shape in PowerPoint. The first step is to increase the size of these circles. So I'm going to click on these circles while I hold the shift tab. Then I go to design, sorry, I go to format and I'm going to increase the size here by clicking on this one called as larger. Uh, this looks large enough. The next step is to convert these circles into squares for which I'm going to go to change shape and choose this option under rectangles called as the regular rectangle and you have the squares. Now this circle that we have right in the middle needs to change into something that says that this center element is connected to all the other four as well and for which I am going to choose this particular shape under block arrows called as quad arrow callout and there it is. Maybe there is a bit of an overlap among these squares, so maybe I can reduce the size of these squares a little bit so that they stand out. Now there we are, It is the diagram is quite appropriate. The next step is to click on the bounding box and go to design and we are going to convert this into a smart art, into a group of smart uh, auto shapes for which we will go to convert and convert to shapes option. And there we are, the base diagram is ready for us. The next step is to right click and go to group and ungroup. So we have the shapes available as individual auto shapes. Now you can see that these colors can be changed. So I'm going to use some simple colors so that I can easily see the text that I write on it and um, another one could be this. I mean there is no hard and fast rule for the kind of color that you need to choose. You can choose any color as long as you are happy with the end result. Now I'm going to add some title here for which let me, I'm going to use a rectangle shape here. So go to auto shapes again, rectangle and this should be just adequate for me to write the title and I'm going to use a very dark variation of the color here. If you want it to remain within the box, you can do so as well. You can come up with your own variations. Now I'm going to hold the control tab while I move this particular uh, title, uh, this particular bar and I'm going to use a darker orange maybe I can remove the shape outline once again let me hold this while control holding the control bar I am going to move this one here and let me use a darker blue and the next one is to keep it here and make it a darker teal color there we are the four text boxes are ready for us to make sure that there is text here title text I'm going to make it bold increase the font size 
keep it here and because this is a dark color I always wish to show the contrast by making the font color as white or any light color and you can uh, continue to do so with the remaining ones as well and the title is uh, ready then we can add you can replace this sample text and naturally you will you will write your own text whenever you uh, type in your stuff so put it in here in the middle and this seems okay now click while holding the control tab I am just moving it around so that I can create copies of the same uh, text that I have written earlier and there we are the text boxes are ready for us now the next step is to color these uh, connecting um, shapes this one is moving from green to orange so I wish to use a green color for this one this one goes from orange to blue so naturally it is orange color and by the same logic this is going to be dark blue and this is going to be the dark teal now this is right and here maybe I would like to use a black color and because it is black the thing that I'm going to write because usually vision is the one that connects everything else and uh, bold and as I keep it in the middle I'm going to use white font now that is good enough now I can always add an arrow here for which all I need to do is to take a simple rectangle I mean triangle and while holding the um, control tab I have created a copy and this looks good maybe I can keep it here and I can use the same um, green color and I can make another copy move it around like this and keep it here it is it is just about repeating the same process over and over again and this time we are going to use the orange one and naturally it is a good idea to remove the outline and then move it here that looks good enough use the same blue color and there again turn it around and use the dark teal there it is and we will remove this and we have our balance scorecard diagram completely ready so that is how easy it is to make the balance scorecard diagram I wish to show you some interesting variations of balance scorecard taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs and let me show you the first example here instead of the simple text boxes we have gone ahead and given a kind of a matrix for each of the four uh, parameters in the balanced scorecard and we have also added animation and we have included vision and strategy in the middle this is nothing but an elaborate version of the diagram we just created using smart art when you really have to write a lot of text a small diagram may not really be appropriate here we have created a web style balance scorecard where each tab can be used to write details about the individual topics here so that is another variation of uh, balance scorecard here is another animated version of balance scorecard and as you can see here as we click a different color comes in and there is a call out which explains that particular uh, quadrant of balance scorecard and this one is more like a diagram that shows the four quadrants of balance scorecard here is a version wherein we have used an image which talks about vision and then we talked about four of the quadrants in a very in a, in a horizontal fashion a variation of this would be this one which shows the four in a different fashion so those are the various ways in which you can create your balance scorecard diagram if you 
or a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text your business slides get ready in no time Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating balanced scorecard using SmartArt. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of useful articles, videos and tutorials to help you improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.